Joyeux, Joyeux Noël, Noël, everybody. So welcome to day three of our year-end recap for 2022. Today, we're going to tell you about what happened in July and August. Just two months this time, but there'll still be lots of, for us to cover. I guess the first thing was we spent the first three weeks of July just kind of getting accustomed to um, Penang and to our home and all the different things that are different here in Malaysia from Canada. We are getting used probably most of all to the heat. Well, the heat, and but more so the humidity. Yeah, humidity, for sure. We had a wonderful host family from Dalat who would take us out and show us the grocery stores that would be best for us, um, to where to, to the go. the mall the first time. Yeah, went to the mall, the market, showed us around some foods that we may or may not like. Tried to figure out how to use the bus system here, which the bus. should have been simpler. We learned how to get around with the Grab, the Uber of Malaysia. July 18th, I had to be at Dalat and we had our week of orientation. I attended with Pam for the first couple of days because they were talking about general stuff about Malaysia. I did enjoy uh, getting to know some of Pam's co-workers and also some of the activities we got to do with the school. We got to go uh, on a scavenger hunt down in Georgetown. You may remember a video we had way back then just uh, scooting around down there. Uh, we got to go out to Batu Ferengi and discover... Sizzling chicken. Yes, sizzling chicken, one of our our favorite places to eat. Right, we also went to the Tropical Spice Gardens where we had a wonderful tour of all the different plants and things and uh, saw some of the animals of Penang, including a monitor lizard, which are relatively harmless, and a lovely viper curled up in the gazebo. Uh, we weren't told that till we were through the arbor, thankfully. The week after that, all staff came on that was most of July spent kind of going here and there. We went to the pool every day and spent time in there. That really helped us get used to the heat. August, well not the first, but the third, August 3rd, suddenly Pam is in a classroom again with actual students. Yeah, and of course not worried too much about the teaching because I've been doing that for uh, a long time, but all the different rules, the different ways of doing things. We were now in middle school um, as grade fives as opposed to elementary where I came from. Both me and my teaching partner are new uh, to Dilat and my teaching partner is also new to teaching. So we were like the blind leading the blind. I lived and breathed work at work and work at home. <laughs> yes, there was lots of work, but also there was there was a little bit of life outside of that. Partway through the month, um, there was a lovely couple from the school. They offered us to borrow their, their vehicle. We were a little leery about it at first, but they assured us that it, it was fine. So we used it. We discovered that uh, driving wasn't quite as scary as we imagined it would be. And then uh, one of the other teachers from the school, we purchased our little Pradua Mai V from them. Uh, that was right the last half of the, the month of August. We, we got that. And um, once we'd gone through all the the process of doing all that, yeah, we, yeah, it involved a, a half a day trip with me and the gentleman who we bought the car from down to to the vehicle licensing licensing office, but fortunately they, they were very helpful there, very helpful. And so then we owned a car. And uh, so now we've been driving that around since then. We've driven it around the island, like literally, we've taken a, a, a day trip driving a, a, all the way around the circumference of the island. And we also took it, and we'll tell you about it later, where we drove down to the city of Ipo in October. And so it's been a great, little find for us and we enjoy driving it around. And we ended August on a little bit of a high note because we were given the news and sworn to secrecy um, that Johnny and Natasha, Colin's youngest son and daughter-in-law, were going to have a baby. Johnny, he says, do you have any limes? And I, 
we happened to have some little key limes and I was like, well, we have some of these. And I, I mentioned the key limes and he was, yeah, well, that, that's about the size of our baby right now. I'm like, oh, you're going to have a baby. Congratulations. And we went on from there. We're really looking forward to meeting their new baby when we get to come back in June. So that was July and August. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.